this country in a while despite the problem insecurity hungry joblessness with this country where they can know the only thing where the government think not to marry white gay people They don't carry 3,500 people and 3,500 guests married. See, you go bomb. Yeah. Kwa kwa standards, father. Kwa kwa so we call this a very good I don't tell you. They're going to be talking. They're going to worship. 3,600 men and women troop into the Kano State Government House in preparation of their wedding ceremony. This is the largest mass wedding in Nigeria. The state government is fully sponsoring the wedding and the couple would get a set of bed, mattress, bag of rice and the sum of 20,000 naira. The mass wedding is taking place at the 44 centers in the 44 local government areas of the state. Former Kano State Governor, Rabi Ukonkoso, is standing in as a trustee for all the brides and he has a piece of advice for them. I must advise you as a father, stay away from your husband's phones if you want your marriage to last long. Let me also remind you that this marks a new beginning for you and your husband. In all, there are 1,800 couples who were mostly previously divorced. They were selected by the state's Hizba board. Clerics and traditional leaders give their blessings to the couples. This word is but provision, and, odd, and there is no provision in this world better than a righteous wife. Marriage increases sustenance, love, respect, caring, selflessness, and forgiving factors between husband and wife. It gives me an unestimated joy to be here to see a show of love for humanity, to be able to stand in for what the Almighty God has done, bringing couples together for a blessing. Governor Abba Yusuf is the trustee for the grooms and he paid the uniform 50,000 Naira bright price on behalf of each of the groom. This is in addition to other expenses covered by the state government. The Aurangata popularly known as Auran Zarawarawa, is one of our campaign promises that we repeated in all the 44 local government areas during the build-up to the 2023 general elections. The total of 1,800 couples we are celebrating today were selected from all the 484 wards across the 44 local government areas of the state. The state government hopes that this exercise will strengthen the bonds between couples and underscore the commitment of the state government to support its citizens and celebrate the institution of marriage.